head over to Patreon if you want to see the full-length, uncut, early access versions of these videos way before YouTube sees them. Let's get it. That is already such a different tone from where we left off with, uh, with White Mid in the last episode. All right, now I'm excited because we now, like, White Bear is in the mix, you know. Oh, it's sad. Hell yeah, man. Clear the way in front of me. He's like, I ain't got time for these fools, man. I'm going straight in. Dude, this is going to be crazy, man. Oh, ho, ho. Alkaji versus White Bear. Madness. That won't be enough. Yeah, man. These fools can't make me sweat. Bro, what? Wait, what? Is that him done? How could you done? <laughs> no! Bro. That... That animation was sick, though. Let's not get it twisted. But he really doesn't want to have to fight admirals on his way. Oh, that blood. Dude, I know that's the thing, man. They're so close. Luffy, man, you've got to be quick, man. It feels like this whole arc has been just how, like, just waiting for Luffy to make it there. He's so close now. The thing is, is Sengoku was like, we might basically said to Garp, you know, we have to get involved. But what is Garp going to do? Can Garp really get involved? The thing is, don't tell me this is the place where he wants to finally come up against Luffy because it's the worst time. Okay. Bro. I know he's strong, but of all the people, it can't be him that gets to, to do it. That was some clean movement from Luffy, though. Thing is, regardless of, like, rank, like, whether you, you know, like, Admiral, Vice Admiral, whatever, he's still strong. The noises, dude. Bro, Luffy needs help. Come on, Luffy. I didn't hear no bell. Never give up. Look at his eyes. Dude, this guy can't get... He can't get a break. He's got that hey, Arthur. This is... This is... Yeah, he can tell. I, I, I feel like he gets involved, man. All you have is courage. Bro, that's disrespect, man. Come on. He's so close as well, man. Dude's blacking out. Come on, don't give up, man. Oh, he's so close. <laughs> Oh, Whitebeard. Thing is, Kizuru is playing with him then, because if he really wanted to finish off Luffy there, he could have. I love the look, man. You know, just the jackets over the top, but not with the arms through. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Kizu don't give a shit, man. Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, Jinbei being there now. Well, obviously a bank of as well, but like Jim Bay being there really does help the fight. Oh, 
treat him. Oh, there's no way, man. Luffy's not going to let them do anything. He's, he's got to be the one. Oh, my, man. Jeez, man. It's painful to watch, isn't it, man? <laughs> to be fair, he, he gave a good account of himself. No one could do everything by themselves, though, even Whitebeard. Bro, what a line! Oh my god. What is that? A Kainu? Yeah. His voice actor, I, I'm trying to think of where I've heard it before. Jinbei's like, alright. Let's go. Oh my god. This is fucking nuts, dude. Those colors, man. Bro, don't you? It's me, Hawk, man. Come on. My queen. Just a mummy. Someone kill him, please, dude. Like, one piece will be fine without him. Dude, man, I feel like Garp is on the edge. Of the admirals, I'd say Kizaru is the scariest. And I, oh well, no, I kind of maybe. He doesn't scare me as much anymore. I think because when you see it as much, I think the thing with Doflamingo is because you don't see him as much and he's still kind of new and scary. Moria, you see a lot and he's kind of like made to be a comical villain. Let's go. Garp is gonna, he's gonna boil, man. Garp, is he gonna step in? Oh god, no. Oh fucking hell, man. That wasn't easy for him. You could tell. But you could tell he also felt forced to do that too. Gap. Jesus, man. He says in the Admiral's chair. 